Hello and welcome to episode 37 of the Battlefield Top Plays. In today's episode we're going to have 10 of the best clips sent in from Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1. I also want to mention that we're going to have a giveaway on this channel on the best of Top Plays episode that's coming up near Christmas. Now I am wondering what way to do it. Should I do the giveaway for everybody on the channel or should I do a giveaway for the winner? of the best of top plays and of course you guys get to vote i'll leave it down to you to decide there is going to be a straw poll in the description i'd like you to go on that and then vote just so i get the best information for this giveaway kicking us off today at number one we have a battlefield 4 clip sent in from n2d gaming he's playing in the jet jumps for a rodeo zook and actually takes out a guy attempting a rendezvous on him with the small he hits the infantry as he's ejecting from his seat with his small. Watch it back in slow motion. Just insanity. He probably didn't mean that. There's no way he could claim that he meant it. But he would have hit the jet, I'm pretty certain, otherwise. An insane effort. Fantastic work. At number two today, we've got another random clip being sent in, this time from Abos247. He's going to be playing, of course, Battlefield 1 on St. Quentin's Scar, the map we've seen a lot of on Battlefield so far, but he's actually playing Operations. Now, he's using the mortar to suppress the enemies who are on Bravo for his team and takes out a plane. An insane bit of luck, taking out a plane, which you know on Operations can be a really big deal for your team. Keeping it consistent with Battlefield 1 and just showing exactly why you need to take out these attack planes, we've got a clip sent in from Pritch, who's 43. He's playing again on operations, this time on Monty Grappa, and pulls off a massive multi-kill in one of the trenches using his attack plane. Ground support loadout, I'm pretty certain, and he gets a lot of kills, but that's not the end of it. He comes back in for a second strafe and picks up a massive amount of kills again. I'm pretty certain that's 20 kills in two strafes. Seven or so on the first one and around 13 on the second one, something like that. It's hard to tell with these Battlefield 1 clips, but nevertheless, an absolutely insane clip. He also went on to perform quite a nice kill streak as well in that game. Next up today, we're moving on to Battlefield 4, and we're going to see a random clip. Again, a lot of random stuff this episode, but I thought it was nice to include it. Using the scout helicopter and the air-to-ground missiles, Tim ESC manages to take out a strafing jet. Pretty lucky, and we've seen it before, but I do love including these things because they don't happen very often. Fantastic effort. At number 5 today, we have the return of Dexter. Of course, he's playing Battlefield 3, running on Metro, but this clip proves why he should always have a place on the top place, even if it is just Metro that he's playing. The quality of his clips are so damn high, this one is no different. Running with a mixture of his M16A3 and his Rex revolver, he's going on a mad kill streak, just mowing through enemies through all of these rooms at the back of the map. Now, he's actually looking to get onto an objective and do some good for his team as he is attacking. He doesn't want the enemies to be surrounding his team too much in his base because obviously you won't be able to get out unless you suppress them and push them back. Never mind suppressing them, he's going to actually take all of them out. A few guys taken out there as he gets his flank around the side, manages to take out two more, not waiting to kill the rest of them. He's pushing through using the smoke to his advantage. Those two guys don't even stand a chance. I don't even think he takes any damage before they're both killed. Gets the third guy who's on the objective taken out. Manages to get the objective armed. He's taken a bit of damage, so obviously he knows there are some enemies at the top of these stairs. He's pushing his way up there, making sure he's got a full reload in before he engages. Of course, it wouldn't really matter because the first guy hasn't got a clue and the second guy just gets hit fired into oblivion. A grenade just put there as precaution. You can see grenades coming back from around the corner, but no worries. His teammate has got that covered and he moves his way down the stairs, getting a nice revive on his teammate there who unfortunately gets taken out. At the bottom of the stairs, he's going to get great accuracy on that guy and make his way onto the second objective. And this is what I love about the clips that he sends in. They're not just about kills. Kills are just something that he's using to cap the objective. It's always about helping the team and getting the objectives. If there are people in the way, he's just going to kill them in the process. Fantastic clip. Unfortunately, dies at the end. Does get rezzed so he can go on a bit more of a streak, but manages to get two objectives armed helps his team push through this section of the map in no time at all, racking up some serious point streaks and, of course, a whole load of kills in the process. Fantastic work, mate. Right up there with the best Metro clips that I've ever seen on Battlefield 3.
Next up today we have a clip sent in from Jesus and he's going to be playing in the FT-17 light tank with the flanker tank variant, firing these projectiles into the distance trying to get a hit on the enemy behemoth. Luckily for him he doesn't get a hit on the behemoth and he actually takes out a heavy tank from as far away as you can possibly fire with these projectiles hitting what? a load of them and getting a massive multi kill. At number 7 today we have another Battlefield 1 clip sent in, this time from Blackie QQ. Playing on Omion in the Assault class, he's going to be running with the Automatico M1918 Trench, getting some kills there at the start using his anti-tank grenade to great effect, runs around the corner, instead of focusing on enemies he knee slides into the building and just waits for his teammate, who you may have already seen before on the top plays, to make his way underneath the stairwell, putting some gas grenades down here. They're just regening some health because they're about to pull off a pretty damn nice flank. They're also picking up a lot of hit markers on enemies who are camping right outside this little building here. With his health regen, Blackie decides that he's going to push his way up to the top of these stairs and gets two guys taken out initially, a third, a fourth, and then a fifth taken down with hip fire. And he's been very careful with his bullets because, of course, this thing has such a high RPM it will fly through its magazine. Another four guys taken down in total as he makes his way into this room. A fantastic flank up the top of these stairs to completely clear out a team from one objective. Brilliant work. Next up today, we have a Battlefield 3 clip sent in from Invide Jackie, and I'm pretty certain this is on Azadi, Azadi Palace, I think it's called. A brilliant looking Battlefield 3 map, and Jackie's gonna pull off an insane sniping clip getting a couple of kills at the start he then comes around the corner here pulling off a pretty nice flank of unfortunately getting stuck on some debris but the point streak doesn't stop and look at these guys in the distance all of them trying to snipe or trying to camp i'm not really too sure what they're doing but they are moving around a bit nevertheless they all get annihilated pulling off a 10-man feed in total one or two with the pistol but nevertheless the knife at the end is just the icing on the cake a fantastic flank well done. Next up today, we have possibly the best kill steal I've ever seen on a Battlefield game. Psycho Enforcer firing that tank shot into the distance manages to take out that heli, taking the kill from his squad mate in the jet. Just insane. Finally today we have a Battlefield 1 clip sent in from Ascendo Bina, he's in the A7V heavy tank and manages to take out a jet as he's jumping up a set of stairs. A really nice reaction shot there. Now coming around the corner you're not going to assume that one plane is enough with this guy. He takes out a plane at extreme range third person with the flamethrowers going on the side of the tank. Just an insane Michael Bay moment. Fantastic work dude. Thanks for watching this week's top plays. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below and let me know what clip you had down as your favorites. Remember to check out the straw poll down in the description to choose what we do in the upcoming giveaway. That video should release just before Christmas on around the 20th or 21st of December. Thanks again for watching, guys. You know I appreciate your support. I'll catch you in the next episode.